Hello and welcome, Commander. So, you've come to Colonia, the mini bubble, out the little area of human space, 22,000 light years from Earth. You've visited the famous Jack Station, the busiest starport in the galaxy. And perhaps, just perhaps, you have decided that you like it here. And you like to stay, to make it your home. Or perhaps you haven't made the journey here yet. But you're toying with the idea of setting up here. But you don't know what to expect. In any case, I would like to present to you my beginner's guide to Colonia. Part 1 Important systems. Colonia system. Discovered by the Commander Clay. It is a home to a Jack station, Colonia Hub, Colonia Orbital, Dove Enigma Megaship, and the Holloway Biology Center. A main base of a Holloway Bioscience Institute that studies alien life forms found in notable stellar phenomena Lagrange clouds that are also present in this system. Just like every single type of rings. Stations in this system have wide range of ships and modules for sale. Technology broker can be found inside the Jack station. Tourism is the primary economy. You can also buy your own fleet carrier here, as well as outfit it. But beware, Commander! Colonia system is a gunker's hunting ground. Ratray system, 9 light years away from Colonia. You can visit here a bone steel point, Exodus Reach, and Colonia Dream Coriolis Starport. It was a second space station with large landing pads that was constructed in Colonia early days. It rivals Jacks in the outfitting options available here. And it is the only place in the whole nebula with encoded material trader. Ratray is mainly an industrial economy. The system features icy, rocky and metal-rich rings for you to mine. Ratray system is home to the Colonia Cooperative faction. If there is one faction in the nebula that you should be friends with, it is certainly them. You should also watch your six here. Luchtein system. 20 light years away from Colonia. It's owned by the Ukraine colonist player faction. So try not to mess with the system's BGS, Commander. You will find here icy and rocky rings, as well as an asteroid base, the Moore's Charm. It has a refinery economy, meaning you can sell your minerals for a good price here. 
There's also an outpost in the system, Lugebauer Mines. The reason this system is important though, is the fact that it is a home for an engineer. Mel Brandon, here at the Brig Surface Starport, will work on a wide range of your modules. I will cover the details of Colonia Engineers in the next video though. There's a disabled megaship near Lukstein A1B. It's an easy source of occupied escape pods that are used for unlocking Etienne Dorn. Another Colonia Engineer. Lutstein is the third most dangerous system in the nebula to fly in after Colonia and Ratray. Tier system. 16 light years away from Colonia. A home system of Marsha Hicks. An engineer that specializes herself with upgrading kinetic weaponry. There are two starports in this system. Dollar Depot, owned by the Hutton Trackers of Colonia, famous suppliers of Max and Free Anacondas, and a Bolden's Enterprise, owned by us, Colonia Citizens Network. Which means that by running your missions here, you are messing with BGS of two factions. Outfitting here is very poor despite the fact that Bolden Enterprise is a high-tech station. Ogmar, its sister system, will provide you with much wider selection. Bolden supplies fleet carriers with their modules though. As a result, you will find many of them parked here. Bolden also has a tech broker who has the best class 5 frameship drive in the game. When in pirate attack state, Boldens will buy your Void Opals for the best price in the galaxy. You will have to mine them in a different system though, as there are no planets with rings here. Tyr is relatively safe to fly in. Asura system, 23 light years away from Colonia controlled by the Galkop faction. They own a Coriolis starport called a Mizuno Dock. It has an industrial economy. The other smaller outpost is called a Wellington's Claim. This system features only rocky rings and a stellar phenomena site. There's also a surface starport Sanctuary, as it is named, is a home base of Petra Olmanova, an engineer. I'm sure you can see a pattern here. Don't worry, we're almost done. Unlike the bubble, Colonia doesn't have many engineers. Hello Commander, can I take a moment of your time? My name is Etienne Don. I have a request. Please bring me 25 occupied escape pods for my XPM. I mean, I just like to help set those people free. You can find me in the lost system. Make sure people in those pods are presumed dead. Loss system. 35 light years from Colonia. It is here at Kraken's retreat where you will find an evil mad scientist Etienne Dorn, a last but not least Colonia engineer. Trust me, I'm an engineer. It's not really important, but for consistency sake, you will find an outpost here, Murakami Gateway. There are only icy rings in the Lost system. The controlling player faction is ICU Colonial Corps. It's relatively safe here. You don't want me to get angry with you, Commander. Kojara system. 
19 light years from Colonia. A home of Tianjin pioneers. The Tolagarf's junkyard, a refinery asteroid starport, will provide you with services of the only raw material trader in Colonia. Oswald Park, an orbital outpost on the other hand, is completely useless. You can mine minerals in an AC and rocky rings in this system. Soyuz system. Wait. Soyuz? Coyus? Chaos? Seos? <sighs> Only in English such problems. Coos. <laughs> what? Coos. Ah, fuck it. So else, there. If you travel to the Foster Terminal megaship, you will find the reason why this system is important. This is the only place in the whole nebula with manufactured material trader. This system is controlled also by the Ukraine Colonist Alliance. In a quick conclusion. Colonia, Jack Station and Fleet Carrier Vendor, Bratry, home of Colonia Co-op and Encoded Trader, Luchtein, Tyr, Asura and Los and Engineers, Kojara and Ceos, Raw and Manufactured Traders. I may be biased a bit, but the most important system of them all though is undoubtedly, unquestionably, Centralis system. Its composition is immediately, psychologically satisfying and recognizable. It's a mini copy of solar system. Kind of. Sort of. Phoenix Harbor with its extraction economy supplies steel with raw materials that are used to manufacture modules for your fleet carriers. Damask Rose megaship that hangs above A7 Hazarus provides security for the entire system. Why is it important though? Easy. It's simply home. 